The XML editors comes with two sample models, the GPS watch and the microwave oven. To import these models into your workbench, go to the welcome page. Select Quick Start link and click on each model to import them. In this video, I will import the GPS model. When the import process is done, the help guide opens. You can read its content to learn more about how to use the tool and work on the sample models. The readme file explains how to use the model executed in the verifier and the code generation. The GPS watch consists of four components, tracking, UI, location, and heart rate monitoring. To learn about each component, mouse over on the component and a tooltip pops up with the component description. To launch the model in the verifier, switch to XML debugging perspective. Open debug configuration. The GPS watch comes with Java UI interface for the watch that when connected with the model, it used for the simulation. To launch the Java Watch UI, select the launcher and press debug. To launch the model, back to the debug configuration, expand XML execute application and select GPS Watch, then press debug. To connect the XML model in the verifier with the Java UI, navigate to Connect Class-Based Operation under UI Component and execute it. As you see in the console view, the connection confirmation is reported. Now we can click on the Start Stop button to start the simulation. To pause, re-click on it. Same to continue. By pressing on the mode button, the elapsed distance will be displayed in kilometer per hour scale. To change it, press the mode button again. To view the heart pulse rate, click again on the mode button. To use the lap feature, set the watch mode to laps, then press on lap button. To terminate the execution, select each launcher in the debug view, click on the red square button. To build the project, switch the current perspective to C and C++ perspective. Right click on the project and select build the project. As the project builds, the build look flows in the console view. The red colors line in the build look means that errors happen during the build. After the build finishes, you can find the generated source code files under the source folder. Under the debug folder, here you will find the executable exe file. This file executes exactly as the model runs in the verifier, except that you don't have the ability to select the operation and execute it manually. Therefore, in the domain.mark file, the init function is specified here as the initialization function. In another world, by running the executable file, this function will be executed automatically. Before running the executable file, I need to open again the watch UI first. Select the executable file, right click and open with the system editor. Now we can simply use the watch UI again to start the simulation. 